new construction. I mean, uh, rebuild. <clears throat> it was really quite strange working with the uh, fire restoration contractor on this job. I, you know, you don't want to deal with it, and the insurance is paying for it, so they come snooping around and two or three of them, different companies. And you sign one up. Very personable at that stage. And uh, so then you find out that there's just one thing they don't provide, and that's construction management. You know, the only thing that they were hired for uh, so live and learn, you know, no scheduling, no supervision. And, uh, they would take a year and whatever it's been, two or four months and just get the cheapest guy they could to come to the job. It's a shame because some of the workers were good people trying to do the right thing. But the general contractor uh, just wrecks everybody. Um, yeah, it wasn't a it wasn't a cost plus job though. They say, you know they put twenty percent on everything. It was actually a budget plus twenty percent job, and they just seemed to spend all their time. Uh, trying to uh, squeeze all the budgets so they could put every dollar into the profit column. It was, um, gosh, how would I say, a, a really severe echo chamber type of a thing. When I left the review for them online, they the owner was aghast. He didn't think that was him at all. Let's just let show how how far gone he was. So we babysit the, babysat them. They forced us to do it. You know, if you wanted to have the value in your property when everything was said and done, you you had to babysit them. Um, and so they got theirs and did not provide any, any added value to this project. Uh, we managed it and uh, managed them beside and, and paid them. Uh, it was really quite strange. <laughs>